Howdy folks. What absolutely none of you know is that I've been growing my hair out for the past year and a half with the sole intention of shaving it off. Personal goal of mine, um, in the 90s when I had my mullet, I always said that when I cut it off I was going to donate it. When I went to the barber that day to get a haircut, I wasn't aware I was going to cut it off until she just took an inch off at a time and then it was all laying on the floor. So obviously I've never donated my hair. Uh, I stopped cutting my hair in December of 2014. That was the year my brother died. He did not die of cancer, but it made me think about all the things that I may leave undone in my life. And one of the easiest things for me to do is to relive that day in the past where I did not donate my hair. So in honor of him, in honor of all of my friends, all of my family members, all of the people who I, I have loved and have lost to cancer, who have had cancer and have beat it, all of you who have uh, known people who have struggled with cancer, today is for you guys. Today is for everybody who has um, been touched by cancer and uh, just to raise awareness for it, they're coming uh, such a long way, leaps and bounds with cancer treatment and dare I say it, uh, a cure. But, um, you know, there's always hope and today's about hope, today's about beating it and we're going to go upstairs and we're going to shave off all this hair of mine. My wife is going to do the cutting and we discussed how it's going to go down and it ought to be pretty interesting, um, comical, uh, hopefully, you know, at least get a kick out of this video watching, watching her tie my hair up and cut it off. She doesn't know what she's doing, I don't know what I'm doing, but uh, in the next hour, I'm going to be bald. And uh, actually, you know, I like having long hair, like I said before, I had long hair in the past, but it's a lot of work, man, for a 43-year-old guy, having hair like this is a lot of work, and I'm a kind of a low-maintenance kind of guy, so... Goodbye to the long hair, good riddance to it, um, and it's a, a, you know, check that box and, and move on to the next uh, bucket list thing. So, I'm going to donate my hair. What's going to happen is we're going to go upstairs, we're going to cut it off, we're going to cut it in ponytails, then we're going to bag it and we're going to mail it to the Pantene Corporation. What they do is they take a minimum of eight inches. My hair is almost nine inches right now. So, uh, you know, I, I held out as long as I could to make it as long as it could be. Um, Pantene Corporation, what they do uh, is a wonderful thing. They, they, uh, they take the donations and they turn around and they make wigs. And then they donate it to cancer patients. They don't sell it like some other companies do. They donate their wigs. The Pantene Corporation donates their wigs that they make to cancer patients. To me, that's huge. To me, um, cancer patients already have enough going on in their lives. They don't have to, uh, they shouldn't have to worry about coming up with, you know, $1,500, $2,000 to buy a wig to help them mentally stay on track, stay focused, you know, um, especially for women. It's, you know, hair is such a big thing in today's society. And uh, we don't give women enough credit in our lives as it is. You know, they do so much. They do so much for us men folk. So let's get to it. <clears throat> All right, I'm in the hot seat. Let's get this done. Here comes Mrs. Average Joe. Okay, I'm going to hold this. Are you going to put them all on pigtails? Yeah, and then do the cutting? Or just you're not going to do one at a time? I okay. wasn't going to do it all at once. That's like, fine, no, whatever you have in mind. This is a, going to be a fashion statement, I'm, I'm certain.
How do I look? Go ahead. This was the only way I could get my wife into making a movie with me. Is this a good look? Hey, Chuck. This is the way they wanted it. They wanted it. If you go to Pantene's webpage, they kind of explained it to cut it this way. This is uh, not her way of making me look silly. This was really. I mean, usually they're cutting the ponytail off. This is a little bit extreme, I guess, in, in standards of donating hair, but it's what I wanted to do. I'm not going to grow out three feet of hair just to take the last foot off. It's all going. These are all my daughter's ponytails. Five-year-old little girl, and she still naps. Fights us on, but she still naps. She's gonna wake up and I'm gonna be bald. That's gonna be odd. Yeah, she already said she wanted me to keep my long hair. Eight inches. Should be the longer on top. What say ye? Yeah, can you include, you know, it's not going to be eight inches. Rubber band, rubber band. Right, no, 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 no. I think it would be. I'm sorry, there's one on my finger to pick it So I think I'm going to owe Lily a bunch of ponytails, huh? Mm -hmm.
they look home? I thought it might be. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I look like a jester. <laughs> oh goodness, here we go. <laughs> you guys think? Right yeah, we're filming. I'm gonna shave, shave it now. No, we're, not that. Are you? Oh. We're filming right now. No, no, that's not what I mean. I mean, when is he gonna go to the shop and delete all your hair? We're gonna mail it in. Mail it in. I'm cutting it off right now, and I'm going to make it with okay, it. I'm going to be bald in just a matter of mere moments. Well, let's see. What do you think, Lauren? How do you like? Should I keep it like this? Is this? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't intrigue me too much. Pardon? It doesn't intrigue me too much. No? All right. Well, I think we're ready. Okay. Well, let's see if we can get this done. Okay. Well, I'm going to start with this one. No guard. Yeah, I took it all off. It's going to go down. Yeah, a little, little right. on the other side. No, nope. yeah, there you go. Okay. Do you have a preference where I start? At the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't shoot. Oh yeah, it's all going. There we go. I only ever use clippers at the animal. <laughs> well, well, you're still only just shaving dogs. <laughs> Be tight haircut. Is it going through? Let me check yeah, the thing. Is. Okay. I just don't want to. Okay, it feels like it's getting bunched up. That's my first one, and I don't want to huh? cut your head. Well, you, I don't think you can with that thing. I know, <laughs> until, until I get and shave it all down. Let me see this real quick. I just see the top of your head. One. Yeah, leave it like that. Yeah, Jeez. There's like, one. It's like, it's like hard. <coughs> you look like you got dreadlocks. Yeah. Big, big dreadlocks. Big, clowny, jestery, clowny dreadlocks. Yeah. Alright, come on. Okay. We'll Over the course of the past year and a half, my wife has been very patient with me. I'm used to having a buzz cut, and uh, I just wanted to show her that she wasn't the only one that could grow long, lustrous, beautiful hair. But now it's time.
half and half. <laughs> Is this the last one you're in? No, I don't know. Oh, one Joey got the mange, doesn't he? Alright. I'm going to go clean this up. You guys stick with me. And this is just used to make me look like this. This is also what I use to cut my hair with. So, let's see if I can remember how. Get out of there, Chuckle. Hopefully it'll
Yeah, it works. I'm going to clean it up. I don't know if this, I'm going to be able to leave it. All right, okay. let's we'll start calling Mr. Bald Joe. Mr. Bald Joe. Best thing about this, I can wear Papa's hat again. Oh my gosh, I gotta tighten it up. Last time I put this on, I had hair. One more. Ah, uh, much better. There it is. Ready to go to Pantene Corporation. Fantastic. Oh, come here. Sit right in here next to me. Unwrap my head. Okay. <laughs> Stick your bubble top out. Hey, <laughs> 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 Chucky's. Chucky, Chucky, Chucky. Do you remember, Donald? Do you remember like when I used one? to have hair like this? Feel this right here. Just feel this. Do you remember that? Yeah. You used to like to do that? You used to like to feel this on my head? It feels weird. Yeah, like sandpaper, huh? Yeah. You don't care. All you want to do is go jump on the trampoline with your friends. <laughs>